Hello Endo, welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing the uh, Dead is Dead or Hardcore World of Warcraft run with a Frost Mage on the official Warcraft Hardcore servers. And today we are continuing questing, uh, this time in uh, the uh, Desolés, uh, no not the Desolés uh, area effectively in a, at a place that lets uh, the De desolates uh, look like it is a child's play uh, we're here in duskwall marsh which is a really 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 sad place to be to begin with um plenty of quests for a little bit later uh, mid 40s even we're starting however with easy quests so for starters we got ourselves a, a few thermos spice which we need to get down as well as uh, ancient venom sacks and a couple of murlocs uh, you gotta respect the murlocs though don't f around with them okay so uh, why is uh, this a specifically uh, dangerous place so for starters uh, i think i've never seen a place that is just more infested by alligators than this place here and uh, secondly there we go got, uh, the lurkers here secondly uh, if i had to pick a place that uh, makes it almost impossible for you to observe properly because uh, there are continuous trees in the way then this here is the place to be i needed to already zoom in quite a lot because you can see no matter how you turn your camera angle there is always something in the way it's annoying the only way of how you can really do it is be really close to the ground and that's pretty much it anyways so we're starting with acidic sex uh, oh yeah i forgot uh, this region also features quite a few stealth mobs including stealth spiders as well as large uh, camps of murlocs which uh, if you want to aoe grind are cool if you just don't want to uh, fight against multiple mobs at the same time uh, they are rather not so cool so yeah all of these uh, reasons exist basically indicating that this is a tough area but it's a fun area if you know what you're doing good and what we want to do is we want to get thermal spice and the uh, spider sex my little trick for this area is if push comes to shove just kill a few more enemies that typically does the trick just clear out the area and then you're going to be fine besides last uh, episode i figured although i was already level 38 i did not have the spell upgrades yet and that also includes frost bolts so what you are going to see now is that number one our frost bolts hit intensely harder than they used to i got crits up to 530 which is a great secondly uh, you're going to see that a lot of uh, the enemies are going to die just so much faster due to the higher overall damage And thirdly, you're going to see we're close to level 40, which means finally the good old frost barrier, which I know you are as much looking forward to as I am. What I don't like about hidden mobs is it's difficult to just get them. I 
Okay, let me just fast forward this until I got all of the thermal spies and maybe most of uh, the um, spiders as well. That way you don't need to sit through it. All right, first quest being done. And since it's so close to the trade-in, might as well immediately go for that trade-in. Time for us to kill a couple more spiders. I don't think that I'll really go to the Theramore docks. I think that, if I recall correctly, is where the Alliance has their quarters. And I have no motivation to uh, figure out if I can sneak by a couple of guards. That's uh, just unnecessarily playing with your life. Unless these are Theramore uh, guards, in which case they have no alliance affiliation, and then it wouldn't be a problem. I suppose we're going to find that out at some point. Luckily, the talking spit doesn't stack up. Not so hard, damage or draws. Good. We need one more of these venom sacks. Then we'll get this quest, and then we're going to go for the murlocs. Two more quests over here. Yeah, I remember that was one of these areas which you really needed to know well what you're uh, doing. There's a hidden spider, by the way. Spider uh, problem almost solved. Good, I finished the last spider. Now next up, we're going for Murlocs. I'm already dreading that, but before we do it, let's help with the escape up here and get the extra quests there. All right, we got two additional quests here, one that we need to trade in immediately and one for soothing spices down here. Maybe I'll just give it a, uh, a look, but for now, let's do Murlocs. And the fun part about this is typically the Murloc camps is where all of the danger is at, but here, we even have the surroundings that are dangerous. So let's clear those out a little bit. I hate nothing more than to run into a crocodile or any other bullshit. Whilst we're uh, pulling enemies in our direction. Good, and all we need to do is get 12 heads from these guys. In classical Murloc fashion, of course, they are also running away. Just to pull a couple more. Yeah. 
Yeah, but luckily with our new uh, spell power. It's actually going reasonably well. See, even when paying attention. Uh, that is not good. That was a quick frostball. Even when paying attention, uh, there is still a patrol that can come from the left. The problem are these trees, and I don't know why Blizzard in the rework hasn't fixed it, but this year is just atrocious. It's not fun to play when you're forced to basically have this perspective here. Anyway, so I'm going to fast forward a little bit as we're grinding through the Murlocs. Nothing to see here other than dead fish, man. All right, so we are done with the Murlocs. And I traded in the quests here. Plus, I did the Escort really quickly. Uh, Escort wasn't uh, that uh, fun to record, so I just skipped it. Let's continue with Hungry. Hungry is... Uh, the Murloc trade in, and once that is done, I think we can go further to the south because uh, there are still a couple of quests here. I checked the Theramore docks online, and it's just too close. It, the risk reward is not nearly worth it. I am not going to go there. That's a pair of really not so good boots. Uh, we're going uh, further down here to get uh, the next quests. Fast forwarding for you guys. All right, arrived at our destination in the middle of the swamp. Tabitha here. Does have a couple of quest uh, quests for us. So let's see uh, what exactly did she give us? Um, hidden secrets, the infernal orb, items of power. None of uh, which are in here. Interesting. Are these all quests to a different location? Oh, those are mage quests. Okay, I see. As with any good uh, mage quest, it's a lot of uh, run and fetch and run and fetch, but that's okay. Um, I think we're going to be fine. Two of uh, the potential quests are here. One with... Uh, Soothing spices, which we should uh, be getting right here, uh, and more importantly, the infernal orb. Good. Our idea now is uh, to get uh, the infernal orb from here, and uh, that should already solve one quest. Another one is to go here to the Shimmering Flats. There are a couple of trade-ins anyways. And apparently there is a follow-up quest uh, there. So once we do both, that's good enough. For the third one, we need a Jade. Since I can't use the Auction House, getting a Jade is very unlikely for us. So we're potentially going to skip. Alrighty, we just so happen to run into an Escort quest, uh, which, funnily enough, uh, requires us to just go all the way here and uh, mm, escort this little uh, this little caravan. We should be fine though. So let's do that and afterwards we can uh, do the infernal orb. Matter of fact, we can 
do it as we go because some of uh, the beings that we will need to fight are going to be the summoners. Unfortunately, I can't crowd control any of these guys. Attacking what I think is uh, the biggest threat. Process. And then we're going for the Mesa Inferno. In those open spaces, the escort quests actually are uh, fun and not a big problem. Mainly because you do have someone to tank for you. It's almost like you're having an extra pet. Yeah, these Burning Blade casters are the ones that we're looking to kill. I don't want to aggro them, I want to go with the caravan, we're going to get ads anyways. Getting the caster first. Messed up on the counter spell, that was not great. Let's get the lesser inferno. Luckily they were aggro switching, but yeah, I could have played that better. Nether Sorceress was out of range uh, for the counter spell, and I've now added a um, stop cast marker around uh, the counter spell just to make sure that whenever I need it, it's really there. But that also means I uh, cannot necessarily do it whilst I am casting if I want the crossbow to go through. That's the whole point about it being stop cast. You stop casting. Alright, almost there. I think we're going to get one more ambush. Alright, easy enough so far. And all of them also give full, ex uh, full experience, so that's not bad either. Might aggro that basilisk.
right, close to the finish line. Let's just finish this one here, then we should be okay. And we're getting the Inferno Orb and are out of Desolus. We have definitely quested enough in this uh, region. Next time I'm coming here is because I want to get to Felmore. That still has some more time. I'll trade in the quest and then we're going to get the infernal orb fantastic we got ourselves a wand on which we can vendor and now it's time to get the infernal orb okay found our first burning blade sorcerer the orb easy all right off to uh, salt marshes and from there I think we can uh, get back into the uh, swamp so yeah that's that's the idea let's go all right we arrived at the shining uh, flats that's where we can get a couple of follow-up quests in case you're wondering we're really doing uh, yeah scooping up the bottom of the barrel of quests there are two further quest locations which i think uh, we're going to explore because this year is not really attractive uh, questing get the scoop for instance yeah that's already way too low so we're not going to follow it um, one indeed is going to uh, both are actually um, going to lead us to the eastern kingdom uh, one is the swamp of uh, sorrows and the other one uh, I think Dusk Marsh uh, both be, uh, can be done 35 to 45 uh, so we should get quite a few quests out of there and that's better than just kind of running around uh, trying to get a quest here and there that really doesn't uh, doesn't make a lot of sense timing wise in terms of just the overall map so the quest locations that we can currently work with are Duskwater Marsh. Uh, we've gotten most of it. I will not do the uh, Theramore Docks. Matter of fact, I will go as far as to just completely eradicate that. No point in having something that you're not going to follow through. Okay, so that is pretty much quested uh, through. We can uh, we can bring back a few a few of uh, these quests just to trade them in essentially and get a little bit of experience fair enough um, and then that is done we have been in the desolace and i've really done most of uh, the uh, the quests the only thing um, left now are elite quests pretty much uh, far higher than what we could do so those are the uh, the two uh, regions over here then of course we got uh, the uh, Strangle uh, Thorn Veil. However, there are a couple of level 40-ish quests. So I and 41. I would really want to do them a tiny bit later. You can see 40, 41, 42. Um, so that's fine. We got the Swamp of Sorrows, where there is quite a bit uh, for sub-level 40. Um, we just need to get there, which is uh, the more difficult part. And then we got the Badlands, uh, which we likely need to near uh, from the north and uh, getting into the uh, Badlands. As you can see, uh, there are 
still quite a few uh, quests around level 37 to 40 uh, that we could do. So Badlands is, uh, these are the two bigger hubs. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do the next time. Uh, well, this time it's uh, end of day for me, but uh, I will continue this very episode uh, tomorrow. Um, and we're definitely going to uh, go into those two quest locations. All right, short break for me and uh, no break for you. All right, we jumped right into the Swamp of Sorrows. I did a bit behind the scenes work, mainly got a couple of quests uh, done in Desolace over here. And it's really just trading in quests. I'm currently also trying to get another group together. And whilst we're doing that, uh, I moved from uh, down here, uh, Strangothorn, uh, through Darkshire, all the way into Good Old Swamp of Sorrows, which is a little bit, uh, mm, uh, which is the better implemented uh, version of uh, Dust Wallow Marsh. Just more fun overall better and <clears throat> better looking plus better quests so a very similar uh, region other than that we need to make sure though because uh, Sumners the massive dragon uh, is roaming kind of these area here uh, it's a level 62 elite aggressive elite uh, that is and what we do not want to do is unfortunately run into him it's going to immediately kill us if uh, he reaches us he's fast has a lot of uh, different nasty attacks and on our in our level there is no way that we would be able to summon us so uh, that's why we will be extra careful i will start monitoring this area here for Noboru, uh, who is uh, one of these anglers, so these uh, small fishermen, old, uh, old fishermen, and he's accompanied by two other um, anglers. Uh, he starts a quest, and I would like to get him, just to get it, uh, just to get the qu uh, quest, so fast forwarding for you guys. All right, it took a while to uh, find Noboru, but after a bit of searching, finally found him. Problem with Noboru is uh, he's not alone, and we can just ramble him without clearing the area. And he's the how the hunt for Noboru starts. Very little room here to maneuver. Don't like it at all. I think we're just going to clear this one out and engage him in the water. It's really just a matter of being safe and not playing it risky. All right, let's go. Good. We're a little bit lower on mana. Did I get my mana crystal? Getting 600 back. Good. 
Had I had full mana beforehand, that would have been not a problem. Unfortunately, I didn't, uh, so that took a while. Very good. Uh, let's do this quest here next and then ha hand it in together because both of the quests have the same location and I'll move over there good so these crystals are right over here and are protected by these muck dwellers so they might uh, not look like much but they are like murlocs can come in numbers and that makes them dangerous given their physical nature I will still be rocking ice armor and regularly scouting to make sure that no one accidentally pulls a dragon in our direction I lost my mana jade good time to clear out the camp nice crits 600 almost that's great and having frost armor also helps with these hundred types of mobs I don't even need to go into their dead zone I can just continue tanking uh, them they deal almost no damage advantage of course is if we're rocking uh, the ice armor we can't really regenerate a lot of mana but that's okay I uh, whenever I'm in dangerous regions I tend to use that armor because physical damage is much more prevalent in uh, widespread than magical uh, damage all right off we go let's destroy a couple of these crystals We need six of them, and as you can see, they are really like murlocs, super, um, super big camps. All right, I'll fast forward a little bit for you guys until I'm done with that, uh, with collecting six. All right, so we are done with that quest, and I also got another nice little side quest on Geku. Uh, up here we have a escape quest. Not sure how difficult that is to be clear. Let's give it a try and see if we can clear the way. big problem here is oftentimes uh, we're going to get visitors in 40 seconds the big problem is we're not really safe here
Okay, let's see what happens. Enemies are porting in. Yep. Interesting. Never had that uh, ability. Could have, for all I know, could have also been a much uh, stronger astral traveler. Respawns are happening behind us, which means we can't just get out. Alright, so we got ourselves the escort quest. How difficult can uh, could that be? Poor Galen here got himself into trouble. And we got a full quest lock. There we go, Galen. Don't just run into enemies, please. strong but if he moves in that'll be a problem and therein lies the issue with these uh, camps either Galen gets pawned or we're taking the aggro of many many of these guys This we would need to pre-clear. I do not see an op. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's like six enemies there. All right. Second attempt. I pre-cleared quite a bit. Let's do this again. go yeah, just running into this massive amount of enemies here that was Now that I've killed them one by one, we're in a much better uh, spot and if Galen isn't even running towards them, we should be fine. Oh wow, he's going all the way there. Holy. My only hope is that he's not running into many enemies. He seems to be fine tanking physical damage. But he's definitely not fine uh, taking, uh, tanking magical damage.
Okay, and our job will be to keep mana up as far as possible because he will run into many smaller skirmishes. So let's try to cast mana efficient. And use CC. The problem is, even with his health, doublets are still draining our mana. And he will, I can already see, he will uh, continue triggering more enemies. Okay, I will drink up because he is fine against one of them matter of fact he's actually owning uh, this guy quite handily Okay, this on the other hand looks like a bad situation. Just didn't want him to run in and then rush into these guys. No wonder that this here is the path with most fatalities. If you look at it, massive red spot there. These guys are like Murlocs, I told you. Dangerous, numerous and dangerous. Fantastic. Very good. Let me trade in the quests. Quest number one, right here. That's a little one gold and a lot of experience. Let's get the other two. Good, Noboru. Thank you. Double quest right there. Good job. All right, trading in yet another quest. This year, however, is deep, deep, deep within the territory of the dragon. So, super careful. Uh, we would need to get more stuff, but that definitely is a cost 40 quests. So, uh, we're being out of here. And I think what we're going to do instead is going back to Stranglethorn for just a little bit more and we'll take it from there so on our way back i decided uh, that we can hit a couple of birds so number one uh, the spiders here are dropping white spider meat which we can use in order to make spider sausages to level cooking further and number two uh, there's always room to level up this time we finally 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 got level 40 and with it uh, one of my absolute favorite spells the ice barrier that'll make all of the difference we are going to be so much more tanky the ice barrier does have around 500 hit points and whilst it is active uh, the enemy uh, does not interrupt your cast so just look at that in their face and overall we're still saving mana because I don't need to do frost novers of course it doesn't work against like uh, too much damage the moment that it is broken you will have a 
problem. But nonetheless, it is a great spell. And one that I will be using very, very regularly uh, from now on. So, just thought that I would uh, share that with you. Off we go to Stranglethorn. All right, time to close today's episode uh, before we head to Stranglethorn Vale. Just want to highlight something that I'll be using in the future, which is uh, going to be this uh, Frost Barrier um, add-on. It is quite convenient because uh, the, the default UI doesn't tell you just how much damage you have received. And using the add-on you can see that it ships away from the, uh, from the area effectively showing you exactly just how much frost barrier you do have uh, left over which is good i'll be using that anyways for now, I say thank you and uh, have a good one. We see each other hopefully in the next episode. Uh, so take care and goodbye.